What do you all know about death? I don't know if you've watched Platoon, a great movie, but uh, um, Barnes is the bad guy in the movie. And uh, uh, they want to kill Barnes because he killed Elias, who was the good guy. And he says to them, what do you all know about death? And uh, death is something I don't know much about. I haven't experienced it much in my life. I mean, my grandmothers have died, but um, they all died in a state of disrepair. Like, um, one had severe Parkinson's and I've never heard her speak, and the other died of, of Alzheimer's. So, when I was in high school, a childhood friend died in a car accident. But I never grieved that until, you know, a decade later, a couple of decades later. So, death is strange to me, but there's been plenty of times that I've been afraid of it. Um, but I can't say I'm afraid of it right now. I feel fortunate that for some reason I've kicked my fear of it. But... You know, death plays a huge role in life, and it plays just as big a role as life does. And I'm glad I now believe in reincarnation. So the death is nothing to fear. But I still believe someone, you just got to get done what you got to get done. You want to get done as much as you can. Uh, I don't believe leaving it to the next life or something like that, right? But, uh, and I'm so glad, you know, my country hasn't been at war, really, when I was of age. Like, I mean, they are in Afghanistan right now, but that's completely voluntary, you know. There was nothing like a conscription or a draft in my time. And actually, I don't think it, there ever was in, so, uh, in Canada, so... I'm blessed by God, I know. But I really respect people who actually do go to war. And, uh, because they risk everything, I, I really believe I wouldn't want to go to war if I had a family, right? Like, if I was married and stuff, which I am, I would not enjoy going to war. Or it doesn't seem fair if you're young and you're only 18 and stuff, right? Going to war and die, it just doesn't seem fair. It's strange, you know, it makes sense for older people to go, but they're too old and decrepit, so. Anyways, the pictures of death are the Grim Reaper, right? Like this guy with a huge sickle. It's is there just waiting for you to die. Or there's Charon, the, the guy who's the river man who drives the boat of the river Styx to the place of the dead. And you always might be tortured before you die, like Braveheart, right? I mean, that was a powerful scene. Crying freedom, you know. This is his last testament. And things like assassinations like JFK and stuff are, are something that rallies the whole country, you know? Makes people really realize how fragile their lives are. Like, for a long time there, I was thinking, I don't understand it. I see death all the time. I TV, like my wife watches watch CSI all the time. And so it's just like I sort of sit here and I would think, wow, I'm still alive. What's going on? And I figure someone would have murdered me by now. I'm thankful that I live in Canada as well because, you know, we don't have guns here. I mean, we do for hunting, but you can't have a handgun. If I lived in the States, I'd be worried about people just drive-by shooting, right? 
completely a senseless act, which mean, which is totally meaningless. Like, I think people either want to die in their sleep or they want their their death to mean something. To die for a cause or die for your loved one. I gotta say, I do enjoy the night, and I guess in a way that's equated with death. I love the full moon. Indeed, I'm at my peak and my finest when it's a full moon because I feel all my energies flowing, right? Like I'm a cancer, and our planet is the moon. We're moon children. I used to think, and I still do, I want to become an actor, an amateur actor, and play in Shakespeare uh, plays because I want to practice death. You know, I think that's healthy to to think about death, you know, and to go through the motions before it actually happens. So you'll be ready for it. And I'm one who really likes to be pre prepared for things. I don't, you know, like... Like I've mentioned so many times before, like this December 21st, 2012, I want to be ready for. Anyways, I'm not quite sure if death is something to be feared. As a Christian, I'm not supposed to fear it. Because Jesus Christ has conquered it, so but believe it or not, I was an atheist for a month and I never was so free of fear in my life it was wonderful I remember how awkward it was I was talking to a friend whose wife died, just died of cancer and I didn't want to talk about religion because I didn't want to tell him that I didn't believe in an afterlife, which he had such hope for, to see her again, you know? Anyways, I think it takes a lifetime to conquer your fear of death. <laughs>